Later in this video, I rant about some of the technical side of making art videos and why I'll be slowing down. Hey guys, my name is Dee and this art video is for the Art Addicts Alliance monthly upload. So glad that I'm finally getting around to doing one. The Art Addicts Alliance is a group of artists here on YouTube that participate in monthly prompts that we vote on. These are the current members of the Art Addicts Alliance. I'll be scrolling through their pages so you can get an idea of the other type of art content they make. And all of their links will be in the description so after you watch my video, you can see what they did for this month's theme. We also have a featured guest this month, Fuzzy Dragons. Their channel link will be in the description and if you'd like to know more about how you can be a featured guest, check out the link to our Discord. Also later, I'll talk about more info on becoming a permanent member and what that means. I've been slacking a bit on the past few months of Art Addicts Alliance uploads and also a bit with my weekly uploads. I think I'm experiencing burnout, but more on that in a bit as well. This month's prompt choices were creepy cute or maps. I normally like to draw people, but I thought I'd challenge myself and incorporate a landscape, which I rarely ever paint, because they're hard. <laughs> so the vision I had for maps was a view of some kids looking at a treasure map that leads to treasure, obviously, but the main focus of the painting would be the actual location of where the treasure was hidden. So I don't finish painting the map itself until the very end, but you'll see that the reason the boy is pointing is because they found this area that holds the treasure. I struggled a lot with this piece, mainly because of my aforementioned burnout, but also because, like I said, landscapes are not my forte. It's not just that I'm bad at them, which is a big part to be fair, but also because I just don't get the same satisfaction drawing them as I do with drawing people. But I am glad I pushed myself because I'm okay with how it turned out and it just kind of reinforces my idea that landscapes aren't for me. <laughs> At least I can say I've tried. I actually consulted a friend of mine who is insanely good at landscape painting and has much, much more experience under her belt, and she pointed out that she liked my idea, but that my mountains would be more even and not as spiky as I have them, which I believe her, but that made me realize I need to mention that the background I'm painting is more so meant to be like mystical, I guess. These young kids, in reality, probably wouldn't be hunting for treasure on their own through caves and oceans and mountains like the map will suggest. And someone who went through the trouble of creating a treasure map probably wouldn't leave the treasure just out in the open on top of a well-lit plateau. Anyway, I hope you get what I'm saying. This is meant to be more like a make-believe piece, like the kids are having a fun imaginary adventure and we are seeing the manifestation of that imagination. I did this painting digitally because it's a lot easier to film digital paintings. I use Procreate on my iPad and that automatically screen records as I'm drawing so I don't have to be at my desk, I don't have to worry about camera batteries or lighting. I wish I didn't have to worry about voiceovers, but I always feel like I just have too much to say for on-screen text. I think the biggest part of my burnout is coming from editing. Making the art is my favorite part of the whole video process, and editing is my least favorite part. And then going through all the trouble with the upload details and tags and info and description and a good thumbnail and title and yada yada yada. <sighs> I don't want to bore you guys with the technical stuff because I know if you aren't a content creator you won't really get what I'm talking about, but I just want to let you guys know that it's a lot of work to make these videos on top of trying to make good art, which is arguably harder, all within one week. I feel like my art is suffering and I don't really have enough time to improve. 
It feels like every time I sit down to draw, it needs to be for a video, otherwise my channel will suffer, which, let's be honest, <laughs> I've been losing subs slowly but surely and have been where I'm at for a few months now, even though up until recently, I've been posting once a week, every week. For now at least, I'm just gonna try to post whenever I can, and I think that's just gonna have to work for now. I'm not worried about hitting certain numbers, I just think it's a good idea for me to step back, slow down, and really focus on making my content the best it can be. I'd love any constructive criticism or suggestions from you guys and what you think I could do to improve my channel. I guess the main point I'm trying to make out of all that mess is that my videos and the art I make in them could be better if I have more time to focus on each individual one. Not being, you know, having to start thinking about my next art piece and a video idea before I've even finished the current project I'm working on, you know? Now that you've listened to all my woes, thank you for watching this video and I hope you'll keep an eye out for my future uploads. I don't know what kind of schedule to expect, but if you're subscribed and you have your notification bell on, YouTube should let you know when I post. Oh, speaking of schedules, I do plan to try to stick to the monthly uploads for the Art Addicts Alliance, which is the third Friday of every month. Don't forget to check out the rest of the Art Addicts Alliance uploads and of course our featured guest, all of which are linked below. You can join our Discord where we all just hang out and chat, share our art and videos, and vote on new prompts for every month. You can also suggest prompts, and there's no obligation to post or anything like that, but you can ask about being a featured guest, which means you'll participate in a prompt with us and upload your own video, and all of us will shout out your channel when we upload. We also have spots available for permanent members. We just ask that you be an art channel with at least 100 subscribers and make an audition video. I've linked my audition video in the description from when I auditioned to join the group so you can kind of get an idea of what to do. You'll just make an art video based on the current month's prompt or a previous one. You can go back through any of our AAA videos to find a prompt you like or you can just ask and we can let you know what they are. Once again, the link for our Discord is in the description and I would be happy to answer any questions you might have. Thanks again for watching. See ya!